8.4 calculate the mass needed to prepare 250 centimeter cube of this solution so that the cell operates initially under standard conditions. There's a twist to 8.4. Let's do 8.2 first. Which ion concentration Al to the 3 plus or zinc to the 2 plus will increase? Give a reason for the answer. So first things first, we need to determine what is at the anode and what is at the cathode using our table of standard reduction potentials. So you should realize that aluminum is at the anode, right? And then zinc is at the cathode. So at the anode, this is what is happening. We have aluminum becoming Al to the 3 plus plus 3 electrons. So the concentration that increases is therefore that of aluminum 3 plus. Why is that the case? As oxidation is taking place, the concentration of Al to the 3 plus in the electrolyte will be increasing while the electrons migrate to the cathode through the voltmeter. 8.3. Write down the cell notation for this cell. The electrolyte in the aluminum half cell is pre. Oh, okay, no, I'm moving to 8.4. 8.3. Write down the cell notation for this cell. So we know that this is the oxidation half, re uh, half reaction. And then the reduction half reaction is zinc 2 plus plus some two electrons giving us uh, zinc. So salt bridge, what is happening at the cathode? Zinc two plus accept two electrons to become zinc. What happens at the anode? Aluminium undergoes oxidation to become Al to the three plus. So take a look at that. That is our cell notation. Obviously we can include the phases. 8.3, now 8.4. This is the mistake that most people are going to do. So we are looking for the mass of that compound needed to prepare 250 centimeter cube of this solution so that the cell operates initially under standard conditions. So the standard condition of interest is that the concentration is one mole per decimeter cube. Right, and then we have the volume which is 250 centimeter cube. We can obviously calculate the molar mass of that compound. So, we are interested in the mass. There's still a mistake that people are going to make. Just follow through. Let me show you something. So, we say C is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass multiplied by the volume. The concentration is 1. The mass is what we are interested in. And then, the molar mass... Um, the molar mass, I had written it somewhere. Let me... Let me check that. The molar mass is 342. The volume is 250 divided by 1000. So we cross multiply. The mass is going to be close to 342 multiplied by 250 over 1000 which gives us 85.5 grams right so this is where a lot of people are gonna end but the story carries on because take a look at this aluminium 2 so 43 dissociates to give us 2 aluminium to the 3 plus plus 3 so 4 to the 2 minus right so take a look at this if the concentration of Al2SO43 is 1 mole per decimeter cube, the concentration of Al to the 3 plus will be 2 moles per decimeter cube because of that relationship. And it is the concentration of Al3 plus which we're interested in. We want that concentration to be 1 mole per decimeter cube. So actually, the mass that gives us 1 mole per decimeter cube should therefore be half of what we have calculated initially so therefore the mass which we are actually looking for will be our answer divided by 2 which is 42.75 grams did you realize that did you realize that or oh, you missed the point let me know in the comments here we go